Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make an automated food giver or vending machine, whatever you want to call it. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video. You can do this on survival or creative, it doesn't really matter. And take a good look at these items because this is what you are going to need to build this creation. So when you're finished, it should look something like this. It doesn't have to look exactly like it, but it should look something like it. But be, be, be creative. It drops food like that, and you can... It doesn't have to be food. It can be any item, really. Now, let's build it. Usually when I make these, I make them in survival, and in survival I usually make my houses in caves, so I just carve this right into the wall, and it's just easier for me to make my houses in caves on survival. I don't really know why, but that's just how it is. So up here, this is where you're going to be putting the water and the dropper, so let's just do that. And we have to place a trap door under here, because if you don't, obviously the water will fall down and ruin your house. And you don't want that. And the shorter the water stream is, the quicker your food will come down. And let's get into the redstone part. So you're going to need to make this for your redstone to go on. And... You're going to place the redstone, and on the other side, you're going to put a button so you can drop the food. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I put food in this after I go hunting? And uh, that's the next step, so watch carefully. But this is how it works. It's about to drop food right there. But you don't want to be going all the way up there and like build stairs and stuff and go through the redstone to get there. So this is where the hoppers come in. So watch carefully. And if you haven't used hoppers before, which you probably all have, then you need to crouch when you're placing them on top of each other. Because if you don't, then it will just open the other hoppers. So just quick tip. So usually I like to make my ladder going up and I like to make this a little room just above my house or in the roof, whatever you want. And then I put a chest in there with the hoppers and that's where I will put all the food. Oh, I just placed them all the wrong way. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> This is the right way. Okay, now I have to make my ladder a bit taller for this. And you just want to put a wall around that because you want it to be nice and secure. <laughs> and leave the spot open, the first open above the first hopper because that's where you're going to be placing your chest. Okay, now let's pretend that you just went hunting and you killed a ton of cows and you got a whole stack of beef. And so you went home and you cooked it. And, although that's very unlikely that that will happen on survival. Oh, I forgot the chest. And so you're going to put that 
so once you've cooked it or whatever you want you can just put it in the chest and the hoppers will export, <laughs> export um it will move the food to the dropper and it you can do this with any item it doesn't have to be food okay so now when you whenever you're hungry you can just tap the button and you'll get all the food that you need and you just eat the food and if you have extras you can keep it in your inventory but well that's that so thanks for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel also smash the notifications bell so you can be notified when i release a new video until next time